Hi kids, my name is Mark, and I'm here to tell you about a new kids show we're doing called, uh, uh, we're gonna call it, hey, what's the name of that new stupid kids show you want me to do to try and get the kids to tell their parents to hire good to be clean? Anyway, I am so excited that you're here, so stop what you're doing whenever you see a new episode, and don't forget, this kids show is for you, kids. Okay, kids, today we're going to talk about a specific kind of number called a phone number. Phone numbers. But before we do, let's make sure we've got a drink nearby so we can stay good and hydrated during the show. Why don't you run into the kitchen and grab some red Kool-Aid or some grape juice or something? Just pause the video until you get back. Welcome back. I'm so excited to talk to you about phone numbers today. Well, I see that you've set your drinks up off the floor there. Uh, that's really not the best place for them as we need them close by in case of an emergency dehydration situation. Why don't you just set them uh, there on the carpet by your feet? There you go. Okay, now let's make sure our bodies are nice and stretched out by doing some jumping jacks. Come on kids, jump, jump, yeah. That's it, keep going, don't start. Wow, this actually really hurts. My arms don't bend like this normally. And Oh, whoops, looks like you spilled something right there. That's okay, just show that to an adult after the show and they'll know what to do. So let's learn about phone numbers. A phone number is how you can call a friend, family member, or local service company to get them to clean your, I mean, to talk to them on the phone. Each phone number has three parts an area code, a prefix, and a suffix. Area codes are always just three numbers. In the Wichita, Kansas area, our code is 316. So that's the first part of the number. You, you should write that down. The second part of a phone number is the prefix, and that also has three numbers. A good example for a prefix would be the numbers 3, 2, and 0. Now, the last part of a phone number is the suffix, and this part has four numbers. Some phone numbers are picked specifically to be easy to remember, often by repeating the same digit. So let's say the suffix to this imaginary made-up number is 6767. That's pretty easy to remember, isn't it? Let's all say that together. 6767. Great! Now, the last step is just saying all three parts together, starting with the area code, then the prefix, and lastly, the suffix. Let's give it a try. Three, one, six, three, two, zero, six, seven, six, seven. Wow, you did it! Now, the best part about this lesson is that the phone number you just learned is actually a real number. After this video is done, why don't you take your phone to the responsible credit card carrying adult in your house and have them help you try this number out. Oh, and you might want to show them that stain right there first. Thanks for watching kids. See you next time.